Welcome back to vSphere Upgrade, the inside track. This time we're talking about the vSphere Upgrade process. My name is David Stamen. And I'm Kev Johnson. So before we actually start talking about the upgrade process, it's important to understand like we need to actually back up our environment before starting. Just take snapshots. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no snapshots. <laughs> snapshots aren't backups. And so if we think about the different components of the vSphere environment, well, first we have our vCenter server, right? Mm -hmm. And so if we're running Windows, we might want to take that image-based backup and then do a database backup. If we have the appliance based on 6.5 or 6.7, we have that native file-based backup. Yeah, so, it's a good idea. Good yeah, call. It's a really good idea. And in the event of your ESXi host, there's really not a native file-based backup up or really any native backup in general. Yeah, yeah. So what we can do is we can actually do an export of the configuration through ESX CLI or Power CLI, and in the event that something goes wrong, we can just reinstall ESXi and reload that configuration. But it's like for times where maybe you're not using host profiles yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah, and you know, a lot of customers don't have host profiles available, yeah. so yeah. And in the event of like your virtual machine, to protect yourself against like the VMware tools or compatibility updates, we want to make sure we're taking image-based backups or even file-based backups of those machines. Then in case something does go wrong, you have the ability to roll back to yeah. those previous states. Yeah, it's it's, it's super important to have backups that you know work mm -hmm. and that you can that you can definitely recover from. Just you know, belt and braces. Make sure everything's everything's good there. Yeah. So moving on, uh, what I want to talk about firstly is the, you know, at a very high level, we want to talk about the vSphere upgrade process. So if you've got enhanced link mode, then we've, we've got external platform services controllers there. And within a single sign-on domain, you must upgrade all platform services controllers before moving on to anything else. There's no capability to you know, upgrade one site and then leave it two weeks and then upgrade the other site. You must do all, all PSCs or single sign-on within a single sign-on domain. Once you've done that, we move on and we, we, look, we look at the vCenter servers. So if you, if you have an embedded topology, this is, exa this is, this is step one, basically. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we do all of the vCenter servers. And we'll talk about you know, the actual process a little bit more in depth in the next episode. Once we've done vCenter servers, the next step is the ESXi hosts. So you might mm -hmm. not, your, your hardware might not necessarily support the latest version of ESXi, but vCenter can manage N minus two versions mm -hmm. of ESXi. So um, you know that's 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 worth bearing in mind. Also, if you're going from a particularly old version before you upgrade your vCenter server, you might need to upgrade your ESXi hosts. So bear that in mind as well. Yeah. So I always say, hey, we're talking about six point seven. Upgrade your vCenter to six point seven, even if your hosts don't support it, because yeah. as soon as you buy that new hardware, your hosts are ready to go. You're not have to worry about doing another hop there. But, you get but the if, you, if your if your hosts are on five five, you need to get them upgraded first. That's yeah. unsupported. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't, yeah. We, we don't talk, talk about that. unsupported anymore, yeah. but yeah, that's, that's, that's all good. Once we've done all the ASXi hosts, we can then move on, we can do VMware tools, VM compatibility. So VM compatibility is the thing previously known as virtual hardware. Yeah. We now call it VM compatibility, and you, know, you, do, you do all of those. Then there's the storage side of things, so you, you upgrade your VMFS, and again, we'll talk about that a little later in the series. And if you've got vSAN, you can upgrade your on-disk version with vSAN. Yeah. The final step is the vSphere distributed switch. So if you've got distributed switches there, there are some extra capabilities that were, were introduced in, in 6.5 and 6.7, and you know, you, you're know gonna wanna do those last of all. Yeah, and there's some considerations there, so we'll definitely highlight a lot of those, Absolutely. and they're even gonna be on vSphere Central, and we, we kinda bring that resource. We really have all of our great resources Absolutely, there. yeah, definitely. So there are times that we may not actually wanna do an in-place upgrade, right? Is maybe we had this really old legacy environment that we that's unsupported, and we have this really shiny new environment, right? Mm -hmm. We have the ability to actually do cross vCenter vMotions. Okay. But most people think, well, I have to be in enhanced link mode. I have to have everything visible in the UI. But you can actually do that through the APIs or through Power CLI. And for those cool. that really don't understand how those work, we actually have another fling, right? Is this you fling love is fling, called, right? Oh, I love flings. Hey. <laughs> I'm using them all the time. And we have one that um, William Lamb helped work on called the Cross vCenter Workload Mobility Tool. And this will actually allow you to register the client against two separate vCenters and actually through a UI be able to easily do a cross vCenter every motion of those VMs, right? So it's very and important. And you don't need single sign-on shared? Don't need to have it shared at all. That's pretty but awesome. you have to be on at least 6.x on both sides for that. Okay, and cool. So there might be times where maybe what happens if we have an older environment? Yeah, so so thankfully we've we've got we've got an option for you there as well. So we've got we've got this tool called VMware HDX, and you can use this to migrate from uh, you know legacy environments where you mm. might have uh, vSphere 5.0, yeah, all straight up to the latest latest and greatest versions. So HDX is is an awesome tool. I think it's basically magic. I don't really know how <laughs> it works under the hood, uh, but yeah, it's it's an amazing tool, and it will do things like migrating mi migrating you from hosts running 5.0 
it will do, deal with your upgrade of your VMware tools, your, your VM compatibility. It will disconnect, um, you That's know, if you've got nice. ISO files mounted, and mo most importantly, it's magic. Yeah. Um, and we can we can leverage um, vSphere replication if you, you know if you've got high latency, mm -hmm. low bandwidth network links to do that as well. So that's it works, super cool. It works very well, and this can be between either your on um, on prem to on prem environment or even on prem to VMware Cloud on AWS. Absolutely. So if you're interested in that, speak to your technical account manager or your vSphere rep, and you know they'd they'd, they'd love to help you out. Yeah, and so this is also important. Like when we think about some considerations, we have all types of documentation that we have on vSphere Central, but there's really um, a lot of considerations we like to think about. Right? Is DNS yeah. and NTP are critical. We always say, well, if something goes wrong, it's, check those first. It, it, was, it was DNS. I yeah. can, 99 times out of 100, it's DNS, and the other one time, it's NTP, right? And NTP may not work if you're using DNS. Yeah, exactly. And so those are some important things. Make sure you're using the same servers both if you're doing a migration on your Windows side, but also on the appliance Absolutely, side. Absolutely, well. yeah. So those are really important. And it's really important to understand your topology and what's installed on your vCenter. Especially, when, if, yes, yeah, so if you've got Windows vCenter, you've got all kinds of other yeah. stuff installed. If you have your Composer yeah. service installed there, maybe you're using Horizon. When that gets shuts down during the process, which we'll talk about, is you need to make sure that you're reinstalling that elsewhere before you actually start the upgrade itself. So that's very important. Um, and not only, as we talked about, checking interop matrices for the VMware solutions, but check for all those third-party solutions, your, check backup, your backup vendors. Products, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where we think about rollback, is we may not actually have to roll back because of a problem in the environment. Well, all of a sudden our backups don't work, and now we have to roll back our vCenter. So Absolutely. those are some really important things to think about. Mm. Um, and again, backups are very important, but the one thing we think about too is names, right? Is when we do an upgrade and migration, we always retain the same name, the same IPs, yeah. all the same identifiers. And if you have a Windows server that's maybe called Windows vCenter 01, you do the migration to the appliance. Yeah, and, and some customers have really strict naming conventions. Really right? strict naming so, standards. And yeah. so that appliance would now be called Windows VC01. Well, luckily, in 6.7 Update 3, we just announced the ability to change that name. So if you are stuck with an appliance running a Windows vCenter name where it's not matching your standards, Absolutely. you change the FQDN, you now have the ability to change that network identifier. So that's really but, important. But it's not supported prior to 6.7 Update 3. Not supported prior to Update 6.7. Okay, cool. Three. And that's, that's pretty much all we've got time for this time. So again, thanks for joining us. Um, in the next episode, we're going to be discussing upgrading vCenter server. So until then, uh, for more information, please visit vspacecentral.vmware.com. Thanks Thank very much.